Hi guys and welcome to another WordPress video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well we've built this WooCommerce shop site here. Um, this is part of a course we did online if you want to take the course. I've got a discount coupon below this video if you want to learn how to build this particular site. We used a, a free template and a free WordPress build to build this site here. It's a clothing store with all kind of different things and accessories and bits and pieces. What we're going to do in this series of video, we're going to install a plugin called Elementor, which will allow us to build extra pages. We've got plenty of pages on here. But what it's going to do is allow us to build real custom style pages. So follow along with this series and we'll show you how to build some great things using the Elementor plugin. Okay, so we put together this little carousel yesterday. Let's edit this page with Elementor and let's give it a star rating today. Let's add a star rating and a little call to action button that our customers can go to the sale items or wherever it is you want to take them. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on the right hand side. So, all I'm going to do is left click, a little pencil icon there, hold my left mouse button down drag it across to where I want it. Easy as that to move. Okay, so let's click our little square matrix up here to get our modules up. And let's go down and let's grab a star rating. And let's obviously give it five stars. Well, that's what it's got by default. You can take it up for, as you see, I'm taking this down with my arrow, the star rating is going down there but I think I want to leave that at five obviously the icons fine the font awesome star that works for me I want the filled one not the just the outline one so that's okay I think I want it centralized and let's put a title in and uh, let's say something top rated items Okay, I might decide that I want to do that separately. So I'll leave it for a minute. Let's go over to style. I want to make those stars a lot bigger. So what are our options with the title? Gap. Well, it's just the gap between the title and the actual stars themselves. I think I'm going to take that title away and do that separately. So I'm back on the content tab. Let's delete this. There we go. And let's just make our stars a bit bigger. Go down to stars. There we are on the stars tab. As you can see, the title block is no longer there because we've not put a title in. So let's make our stars a decent sort of size. Size you're going to notice. Spacing. Perhaps space them out a little bit more. Yeah, something like that. Color's fine. I'm just going to leave that is. There is no unmarked color because we've got the full five going on here. Uh, you can change it. Uh, you can say it can be out of more than five if you want to. It can be out of ten. Let's go to our advanced styles. And I want to give it a bit of padding on the top for sure. Bring it down a bit more in line with our bags. So I'm going to uncheck the chain so I can edit each side at once. And I just want the top at the moment. Let's try 50 for the time being. 50 pixels. That seems okay. So there's our little star rating. Let's put a little title underneath. Go back to our matrix. Put a heading in there. Like I say, we could have done it with a title before it, but I like it underneath like this. So I'm just going to do this. And let's say... And I don't want to make that a link. However, I do want to make it in the middle. I want it to be our blue color that we've used, which is this color on our button here. Where else is it? It's here. So let's grab this color, inspect. 
like I've said before, usually when I'm building a site, I have a little notepad on the side with my colors in it so I don't have to keep looking, but I didn't on this one, so to find out. I'm just using the Google Chrome inspector, I'm copying that. And Google Chrome comes by default with this inspector and all you do is right click on whatever element you want and hit the inspect to inspect it. Or hit the F12 key, whichever works for you. So let's go back down, I've got that color now. I want to make this writing that color. So let's go to style, typography, text color. Put our little hex code I copied in there okay that's great now i want it to be all uppercase so let's transform it with the typography uh, size i want it a little bit bigger about the same size as our stars or same width as our stars something like that weight i want it pretty heavy let's take it up to 900 and let's make it uppercase all capitalized Take the size down a little bit so like I said I want it just about the same width as those stars there all right okay well I'm happy with that let's just save that padding's fine now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna steal a button from up here to complete our call to action so I'll just go up to a button let's, let's take this one and right click hit duplicate and then we'll start moving this down just left click and hold to move it we might have to do it in stages it's got quite a long way to go come on now you can do it pop in there and let's grab it one more time and that's where we want him and where do we want it to go um actually that should say shop now not shop new <laughs> i just noticed that i guess shop new works as well but let's just change that to now okay it's all good it's all, all pretty good i think i might just add a little bit more padding on top of here purely and a little bit of padding on top of there so we've got something when it goes down to mobile versions but apart from that I think we're good to go but let's have a look where do we want this link to go let's visit the site and again I think I'll get it to take people to the on sale items obviously you can all I did was right click copy link address left click on it it'll copy the link address for you go to our button put our link address in here like I've said many times before you can lop off the domain name if you want to because it'll look there anyway but I'm gonna leave mine there with the whole URL right there okay like I say I'm pretty happy with that I just want to make sure this has got some padding on the bottom I'm gonna give it 50 shouldn't make any difference to the view as you can see that's extended a bit just when it when we go on mobile this is going to go on top of here I just want to make sure there's a bit of space between the top of this image and the bottom of this picture right here and to test that you can just click on your little screen icon there and it'll give you option to look on it on a tablet and then to look on a mobile and that's what I was saying about on the mobile I want to make sure there was a bit of space below that button before that image there so that's absolutely fine let's go back to our uh, desktop view like I said I just want to take that down a little bit more it's almost lined up how I want it well, I don't know don't make my mind up let's see it one more time Yeah, I think I'm going to leave that just like that is, like it is right there. So let's update that. And just preview again. And check when we get down there. It's our little carousel. Here's our top rated items star rating. Click on here and it should take us to our on sale items. There we go, on sale fantastic well let's go back so that's how to give it a star rating use the star rating module and add a simple call to action button that takes people somewhere that pertains to our little carousel that we've got going over there 
So there we are. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment and subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free web development courses down there, as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesigningtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.